Hi there and welcome to Let's Play Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, a game that's probably going to be incredibly boring to watch unless you're into this sort of thing. I personally find it pretty relaxing, which is why I like to watch it while I like to play it. Um, before I get started, I'll just explain a little bit about the game. Um, the only real goal is to pick things up from one place and put them down somewhere else. That's pretty much the overarching objective. Of course, there's a bit more to take into account. I mean, there's other companies to um, to compete against. There's all sorts of bits and bobs, which you'll see later. But the main thing to keep in mind is all we're really doing is picking things up and putting them down again somewhere else. The further away you put it down, the more money you get. But you've got to sort of keep in mind how long it takes to get there as well. I know, it sounds really interesting, doesn't it? But, you know, stick with it. Trust me, it's, it's pretty good. Open TTD is an open source version of Transport Tycoon, which was a game by Chris Sawyer, Microprose, same people who did, you know, XCOM, Roller Coaster Tycoon, that sort of thing. So you know you're in pretty safe hands. Uh, let's get stuck in, shall we? Right, new game. There's quite a few different options to choose from. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty much uh, default when it comes to difficulty. Yeah, it's on easy. Good, good. Because I'm a wuss. I mean, there's all these millions of different things. Even I don't know what some of them do. This basically means temperate, so we're going to be seeing lots of farms and trees and lovely things like that. That's how big it is. Don't know what that is. The uh, rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Right, let's get stuck in. So, here we go. What do we have here? Right. Hmm. Looks nice enough, doesn't it? So, this is my little map. I say little. It's relatively big. I wouldn't like to walk across it. But the aim of the game, like I say, is to pick things up from one place, put them down somewhere else. Each of these little names are towns. So, that's Dad Church. That's Nant Shore. That's Barbara. <laughs> Strange names. Um, you get towns where you can pick up people and mail and stuff. And you get these little industry so this is a farm for example dad church farm this is a lumber mill and what you've got to do with these places is you've got to pick up resources from one place and put them down somewhere else so for example with the sawmill if i pick up wood from a forest and bring it to the sawmill i'll get some money and that'll create goods which i can take to other places to make a bit more money right best way to sort of explain it, i think is to get stuck in i'll start with something simple let's go over here shall we We've got Gendnor and Little Fan. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the name of this place. Just because I like I prefer saying things like Splob. There we go. So we've got Splob and we've got um Plop. There we go. Ooh, capitals. There we go. Just because Splob and Plop sound better. I think. So, here we go. This is Splob. That's the population, 1012. This is Plap, 417 people. First thing we're going to do is create a small bus route. So we're going to get a few bus stops here, a few bus stops over here, and we're just going to transport passengers over, because that's the whole point. Right, the way we do that is, firstly, we'll probably need a road connecting the two places, which is, <laughs> else the buses are going to struggle, put it in that way. So, easily enough, we just connect them with a little bit of road. We should really build a vehicle depot, like this. This is where you buy all your road vehicles from. Uh, it's very important. A few bus stops, why not? Hmm. The good thing about Open TD is they've got these bus stops on the right, the ones you can actually build in the middle of a town instead of having to build them all over here somewhere, which is a nice change. So, just going to make this invisible by pressing X. There you go, let's have one here and one here. So, what I've got now, if you've been following, is I've got a I was about to point to the screen then, you can't see, can you? I've got it, go away. I've got a uh, bus stop over here in Splob, and one over in Plop. I've got my road vehicle depot here. And the only thing I've really got to do now is buy myself a bus. So you click on the road vehicle depot, press new vehicles, and we've got ourselves a nice little list of all the things we can get. So the only kind of bus we've got here is this one, Regal Bus. If you want to, if you want to, you can read all the stats and stuff. But all I really look at is, oh, it's a bus, it carries passengers, sorted. Bong. Here we go. So, what we have now, we have our bus sitting in our depot. Our two bus stops ready to rock. All we've got to do is give our bus some orders. The way we do that is we click on this little arrow here, which is like the go to button, the orders button. Um, go to Splob and go to Plop. 
simple enough really off he goes there we go which is pretty cool and now we've got so we've got a little bus here a little blue bus and he's going to go all the way to Splob, pick up some people, travel back to Plarp, drop them off, pick up some people, come back over to Splob. Oh, warms the heart, doesn't it? Look at him go. Oh, that's one thing I haven't done yet. One of the things you can do is you can change the name of your self, your manager. You can change the name of your company and you can change your colour scheme, which I think I'm going to do now because it's awesome. Um, <laughs> he looks very serious, doesn't he? Right, oh, a new face. Oh, um, oh dear. <laughs> oh, hmm, Tom Selleck, isn't he? Oh, we're, oh, onto the afro. Oh, I'm just gonna do it this way. Hold on, sorry, on the afro. Come on, there we go. Um, oh, he looks so sad, doesn't he? Hmm. Oh well, this is my manager. From now on, that's going to be me. He is going to be called. Lord Happy, because he looks so happy. It should hopefully have. Oh, Gordon and Co. Gordon, where did Gordon come from? Um, my company name can be uh, Really Cool Transport <laughs> Co. Oh no, I'm really imaginative, aren't I? Sorted. So now all my vehicles are blue. I can change the colour scheme, like I said. If I don't want them to be blue, I want them to be mauve. To make them all mauve. Mauve, how do you pronounce it? I think it's mauve. But I'm going to go for bright red. Oh, there we go. Cool. So now what's going to happen is my people are going to, like I say, you can see the percentages down here. It means it's 100% full. It's picking up people from Splob, dropping off at plant. But if I want to, I can create another bus to do the same route um, and make a bit more money. Where are you? There you are. And there we go. That's That's... Well, the most basic way of doing it, really. Um, there are a couple different kinds of road vehicles as well. Buses are the one I use the most because if I want to tra transport resources, I tend to use trains. But I'll show you how to use those as well in a bit. Um, well, <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it. I'll go into a bit more detail in a minute if you want to look at the next video. I don't know how long I've been going for. I've been going for 10 minutes or so. I've got no idea. See you in a bit.